Hi, welcome to another episode of Talking with Docs. I'm Dr. Brad Weenan. And I'm Dr. Paul Zalzal. And I'm Mike Heffernan. And uh, in case you haven't seen this show before, Talking with Docs, it's just our sort of episodes where we talk with docs about different topics. And uh, if you haven't watched before, we got a bunch of videos you can catch up on. Dr. Heffernan's a cardiologist, and today he's going to talk to us about what what is blood pressure, what does it mean, what do those numbers mean, and what's considered a normal blood pressure, which is a big thing. Sure. So uh, let's just start right from the top. Sure. Um, a normal blood pressure is 120 over 80. So that's an optimal blood pressure. And then people kind of mix the numbers up sometimes. Uh, you know, what's the 120, what's the 80? So if you think about it, uh, the, the 120 is the peak blood pressure so that, you know, the heart squeezes the, the, the blood out and that's the maximum pressure that's kind of coming out of the heart with every heartbeat and going down through your blood vessels to feed all your organs. And so that, you know, it just makes sense. You want something that's not too high, something that's not too low and 120 is considered uh, an optimal one. Okay. And then what's the 80? So the 80 is this resting pressure. And so that's where, you know, the, the heart valve, the aortic valve closes and, you know, the pressure in all the pipes, you, you know, the arteries in your body doesn't go down to zero. It has to have some residual or res uh, pressure that will just continue to just have blood moving through the organ. And that's the 80. Otherwise you'd pass out, right? If you had yeah. no resting tension in your blood vessels, you would just fall to the yep. ground. Right. Got so it. systolic is the 120, it's diastolic is the 180, 120 over 80. And, and, you know, a lot of times when you turn on your tap, stuff flows out smoothly, right? It doesn't pulse out, it flows out smoothly, so the pressure is the same, but in the heart, because it's a muscle that's contracting and expanding and contracting, that's why you get this waveform of a blood pressure where there's a, a peak and a trough. Right. And there are obviously a host of reasons that cause your blood pressure to go up or down. What is the number um, that people start to worry about or we have to start maybe thinking about potential treatment or modifying things? Sure. It um, varies, obviously. Yep, it, it varies. So, so between 120 and 130, and we described it as millimeters of mercury, that's the pressure, um, that's considered normal. Um, once you move between you know, 130 and 140, um, we start to get concerned. Okay. And, and certainly above 140 here in Canada, because I know you have interna international viewers, it may change from you know, region to region. But uh, a, a value in the office above 140 over 90 is when we really start thinking about uh, medications. But of course, before that, it's always lifestyle modifications first. If a patient can lower their blood pressure without having to take a pill, that's great. That's ideal. Uh, what's the big deal with high? I mean, like if I'm at home, I want high pressure when I turn on the tap or have a shower, right? It's better. I get the water everywhere. What's the big deal with having blood pressure that's too high? Why is that a problem? Um, so it's a problem because because think about, you know, my heart's here and the pressure is coming up and you can start thinking about the things that it's going to get hit. So yeah. my brain, um, and if I, as it courses down, it starts hitting things like your kidneys, for instance. And if you're constantly slamming a really high pressure against the brain, against the kidneys, you can imagine that, you know, they have to adapt. They've got to respond because they weren't made for that. Right. And, uh, and so their arteries get contracted and, and bad things start to happen. So the kidneys start to fail. You can have a stroke. Uh, as a result of too high pressure in the brain. Um, you can have a heart attack because the uh, pressure has been too high that's been going down the coronary arteries. Explains why most of the flowers in my garden are dead because the way I water it, yeah. I just gun it out. And there. not with a pressure washer, <laughs> no, right? <laughs> so no. you don't water your garden with a pressure You're washer. Right. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, last question, which one matters more? Because some people are like, oh, my systolic's good, my diastolic's bad, or vice versa. Can, can you pick which one's worse or, or both have problems? Yeah, they're both, they're both important. Okay. Yeah. So it's not neither one or the other. Yeah. That's, and go ahead. when you're measuring your pressure, yeah. um, is there any, you have any sort of tips for people who are trying to monitor their blood pressure? Just go to the doctor and have the doctor measure it or anything they can do? Yeah, so, so that's a great question. Um, we love it when patients take their blood pressure at home. Um, because about 25 to 30 percent of patients that come to my office um, today um, will find that their blood pressure might be elevated but when they go home and if they actually do home readings the values are probably normal and we probably all heard about white coat hypertension and uh, and we don't want to treat somebody who has an office reading that's elevated but it's absolutely normal at home because they're going to feel terrible you should give blood pressure medication in your office i could say here no <laughs> <laughs> do you wear a white coat 
And I, I haven't worn a white coat in 20 no. years. No. Yeah. I wore one when I was a medical student. Exactly. Clerk, right? and then yeah. I don't think You're I proud to earn it at that point, and then you get yeah. rid yeah. of it. Well, on TV, yeah. it's on all the, all the docs on TV. Yeah. Coat. And often guys talking on TV and women talking. I sure. wearing a white coat. Yeah. yeah. Next week, we're going to wear a white coat. I'm not wearing a white coat. If you like this video, please like it. Subscribe to our channel. And remember, you are in charge of your own health and your own blood pressure. We'll see you next time.